Okay, I'm going to show you how to take the remjet off the back of a 16mm film. So it's in this spiral. It's going to end up at the finish at the end of this exercise back in the spiral that, because that's the easiest way to hang the film, to hang it while it's loaded. So we're going to um, do the rem, de remjetting and then come back and be inside the spiral again. Okay, so I'm going to take the film off the spiral and put it into a bucket of water. Now, you can switch to the other mode if you want to, whatever is necessary. So I'm just pulling it off. I'm not letting it scratch here. I'm not letting the film scratch. I'm pulling it off carefully, but I am... So you'll notice my right hand is actually rotating. I'm actually doing this gesture with my right hand. And the left hand is pulling the film off, keeping it on this 45 degree angle. And I'm pulling it off that way and dropping it. I'm not pulling it down. I'm pulling it off that way and dropping it. Okay. Now, do you want to switch to the other mode? Okay, so I've gonna, I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have running water coming out here, just running warm water, and I've got a chamois. I'm gonna place this film with the remjet side up, not the emulsion side, but the remjet side up, and I'm gonna hold it in this sandwich, and my thumb is gonna rub on this surface. Here we go. Now I'm using my little finger here to tuck the rest of the chamois out of the way, so I can do it more quickly. You can see I can do it quite fast, but I'll do it slowly. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just agitating with my thumb, and with my other hand, I'm just pulling it into the bucket. So here we go. Scrubbing with my thumb, I should say. Now, hopefully, given we pulled the film straight off the spiral into the bucket on the left hand side, and I started from the last bit that went into the bucket. It should just pull itself out of the bucket um, without tying itself in knots. And it looks like it has. Okay, so that's the end of the film. Now I'm going to go back into the first bucket. Not forget it, sorry about him. The reason I'm going back into the um, bucket is to do it a second time, but also um, so that it, this, the, the film is the same way out when I uh, put it back, when, it, when it's back in the spiral. Okay, so this time I'm going to do the emulsion side, but I'm not going to, <laughs> I'm not going to scrub it, I'm just going to drag it through. You have to watch it coming up in a tangle here because you mightn't see it and you might end up scrunching the film a little bit if, it, if you pull a knot through. Okay, turn the water off. Now, it's ready to go back in the spiral. This is the end. That's the bit that was in the center of the spiral before, so that's the bit that's going to be in the center of the spiral. Again, the way I work is I have a different spiral, but you don't have to worry about that. Keep going. Can you do that scrubbing? Uh, yeah, I will, I will, but after I've loaded this. So, here we are, I'm just going to load it back in the spiral. So it's back where it started, but now it's been um, de-remjetted. De Notice how I'm going backwards to correct the mistake, and then I'll go more slowly. Yes, the, the edge of the film is a little bit rough there. Hmm. There we go. Let's go. There. 
edge of the film was a bit rough and caused some problems. Probably got rough when I pulled it off in the first place. And now it's ready back where it was to begin with, but it's been cleaned. Once we've hung the film in the on the drying rack, do bring the, the spiral back into the uh, wet lab so you can do this with a dish brush. Just get the bits of emulsion that they, that come off for whatever reason in the spiral. Just scrub them off. Just by doing this quick little go, and it. If, if everyone does this, it makes for cleaner processing. So I just do the both sides. There we are.